Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to another episode of Honey's Hunt. In the last episode, we somehow managed to finish defending our pups from all the predators around the nest. Not only did we have grizzly bear attacks, but we had an entire pack of coyotes chasing us too. Then we finally managed to chase that cougar out of our territory. Though, since we are going to be getting dangerously close to where she lived before, I wouldn't be surprised if we end up seeing her again today. After all, the pups are finally big enough to go on the big journey to the summer hunting grounds. So I guess, honey, let's go. I think we're finally ready to go. So to begin the journey, howl until you have maximum pack affinity. Yeah, ours had gotten a little bit low, so we're probably going to have to do quite a bit of howling. Then head for the star in the compass, which marks the rendezvous site. Alright, so we're still going to have to make sure that we're keeping our pups safe against the predators too? I wonder if that coyote pack is still going to be following us. We're going to have to keep our eyes peeled, Falcon. Pups will drown if you carry them while swimming across the creek. I do remember that, and we're going to have to be very, very careful about the sandbar crossing. That's where the enemy wolf pack is going to be too. So I wonder if this is finally going to be our chance to interact with them. But let's go ahead and start out our very first group howl. Let's see if we can raise that pack affinity as high as possible. In fact, where did Falcon go? He doesn't really seem to be around here. Falcon? Oh, there you are. He was probably coming back from the carcass that we just caught the other day. Were you feeding Robin, maybe? Well, why don't you actually help us with this group howl, okay, buddy? That might actually be enough to finally set us over the edge. We'll probably have to go grab the babies for wandering off, too. Yeah, if we go ahead and grab you, Robin, we'll pick you up and bring you back to the middle of the pack. Because you're going to have to help guide your sisters, okay? He does kind of seem like the leader of the bunch to me. So I wouldn't be surprised if he's going to be like front and center during this mission. Now is that finally going to be enough? Oh my gosh, no, the coyotes are coming out already? No, 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 sir. That is way too early. We didn't even finish. We're not even ready to go on the journey yet. But then again, it looks like the bar might actually be full. So you were the very first creature coming out to attack our babies? Hey now! <gasps> what are you doing bringing Rosemary all the way out here? Oh my gosh, Falcon! You left the babies way up here all alone? Okay, so apparently our journey has indeed begun. Falcon is carrying Rosemary back here. He must have just been worried that, like, honey forgot about her or something. Don't worry, buddy. We know what we're doing. So I think first we're going to want to go to the carcass over there, because we do need to make sure that we're full on food. Not only is Honey still a little bit injured from like all of those grizzly bear battles before, but we have to make sure that our babies have food for the journey too. So this carcass is going to be the closest, and then we'll just continue on toward the sandbar crossing I think. That would probably be the best way to do this. So Falcon, would you mind keeping an eye on the babies? Can you make your way past all of these weeds? Oh my gosh, Robin, I think your sisters are actually lost in the weeds over here. Let's go ahead and grab Rosemary, and then hopefully Belle's going to follow. Not another coyote. No, 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 no. You stay out of here, buddy. Okay, the coyotes are still definitely calling this area their home. To be honest, I feel like they wanted to keep the nest to themselves. <gasps> what is that sound? Oh my gosh, was that... A hawk? Wait a second, is a hawk coming down for one of our babies? I don't see anything around here. I think we're okay. I remember you guys saying that if a hawk is coming after our babies, we should be able to see a shadow. And I don't see anything right now. So you know what, let's just make sure that we have food. You know, it actually looks like Falcon may have fed a few of our babies. Yeah, looks like their paw prints are actually getting much brighter, so he must have made sure that they're all full. Well, thank you, buddy, because unfortunately that carcass wasn't really enough for all of our babies. So we have to figure out how we're going to get to the next one quickly. Let's just go ahead and check our map first. I want to make sure that we're not crossing too closely to the enemy pack. And just as I had feared, it looks like our enemy pack has moved territories. They were kind of over here before, but now they've slowly progressed a bit closer to the summer hunting grounds too. Maybe we had hunted too many of the elk over here, so they're looking for greener pastures too. Either way though, that makes it very, very tricky for us to get across the sandbar crossing. If we get too close to them, then they could easily take one of our babies. 
So this is it, Falcon. This is the moment that we've been waiting for. Let's keep our eyes to the sky, though, because that eagle sound still has me a little concerned. I mean, unless that was just a cry of a coyote or something, but I don't think we've ever heard that before. Oh, thank you for bringing Rosemary to me again. You seem to be very, very concerned about Rosemary. Is she your favorite? Is Rosemary a little tatty's girl? Shy and sweet and always asking to be carried instead of walking on her own. And Falcon just can't seem to say no to her. So I don't see anything lurking in the background yet. It looks like we're all good. All we can really smell is the scent of the herd and all of our babies too, of course. So we're actually going to be following the scent of the herd straight over to the carcasses that we had before. You guys might get to see the herd wandering around in fall. We'll have to steer clear, of course. We certainly don't want you getting trampled by any hooves. Gosh, I hope that doesn't mean that the herd is going to be standing right on top of our carcasses. Oh no, it looks like we were too far away. Come on, little guys. Don't get lost in all this tall grass, okay? It's still a long, long journey. Look at that, picking up a rosemary again. Oh my gosh, Falcon, you absolutely adore her. I can see her just like jumping up, whining to him, saying that her paws hurt or something. And he just can't resist. Okay, there's the eagle. Okay, let's keep our wits about us, Falcon. Let's see where it's going to land. No, 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 no. Did we scare it away? Okay, thank goodness. Chase away one eagle, so we managed to keep it away from our pups. It looks like all of our pups are okay. In fact, it kind of seemed to miss you guys entirely. I wonder if it was going after like a little mouse or something in the grasses. Oh, and look at this, pups. There's the herd, the big majestic herd. And Falcon is going out for food too, so it looks like he'll bring you back some lunch. Falcon has actually been pretty great on this journey so far making sure the babies are keeping up, getting food for them. Once we get to that carcass, I'll make sure that Honey fills up on food too. That way we should have enough to feed the babies once we cross the river. But I still don't want you guys getting too close to those hooves. So as we watch the elk cross, we're gonna make sure that you guys are keeping your distance. You know what? I might actually give Belle a little bit of food because it looks like you're getting super, super hungry. Then maybe we could give a little bit to Rosemary too. Do you see something back there, Robin? It looked like he was gazing up into the sky. Maybe he was looking for more birds. Falcon's like, no, don't you go looking for trouble, buddy. You keep up with the rest of us. So do you have any food for the babies? You were over by that carcass for such a long time, but it doesn't seem like he's going to feed them. Oh, there we go. I think he's actually giving Rosemary a little bit of food right now. Of course he would pick his favorite first. Rosemary's keeping up, right? She is not getting lost in the weeds this time. It looks like she's doing okay. All right, Falcon. So how close is this carcass now? We're just about there. Let's just sniff around for a moment more. Yeah, we're basically right in the middle of the hunting grounds, so we don't have to worry about being too close to that wolf pack yet. I remember on Bumble's journey, they were so close, you could actually hear them growling while we were taking our pups across the sandbar crossing. It was a little bit terrifying. It might even be something that Honey remembers well. Just a little bit further, my pups. There you go. Grab Rosemary as always. Make sure she's following. Yeah, we'll go toward this carcass right in front of us. It looks like there are a couple of crows picking out the remains of it right now. Oh good, and Falcon actually fed Robin too making sure that our one remaining son is keeping up his strength. He's kind of lagging behind a little bit, actually. I would have expected him to be right up in the front since he always loves guiding his sisters around. I wonder if instead he's trying to like keep an eye on their backs. I mean, after losing his sister right in front of him to that cougar, I could totally see him turning a little bit overprotective. When he grows, I could even see him holding a vendetta against the cougars maybe going out of his way to make sure they're far away from his territory. I mean, aside from that, he seems like a very diplomatic sort of leader. Like a natural-born leader, I guess you could say. Very level-headed and always thinking ahead like his father. But when it comes to the cougars, that's where he draws the line. I think his story could be pretty fun to follow in the future. So let me know if that's something that you guys would like to see too. Now, way off in the distance, straight in front of us, I'm pretty sure that's actually the enemy wolf pack. 
so we're going to have to be super, super careful now. It actually seems like they might be watching us as we go to the Sampa Crossing. I'm pretty sure we're super close, though. If we can just get out of the hunting grounds here, leave the elk behind us, because I think we should have enough to at least get to the next area. I actually caught an elk right in the middle of the sandbar crossing, so as we take our babies across, we should be able to stop for food again. That being said, Honey has a completely full belly of food right now, so I don't think our pups are going to go hungry anytime soon. We just have to make sure that we pick the right place to cross. So come on, little guys. This is kind of going to be the most dangerous part of our journey, I would imagine. Thank you for bringing Rosemary to my feet again. I wonder if he's going to carry her across the stream. Now, speaking of which, Falcon, this is a very, very serious moment. I want you to promise me that you are not going to take any of our pups into the deep water. We'll find the shallow portions and then we'll go together, okay? I kind of remember that being an issue with Mousy and Bumble. So let's just keep our fingers crossed that we can do this right. I believe we had to look for these pebbly patches, right? That was what it said in the description a moment ago. So, as long as Falcon isn't going to follow us with the babies right now, like they're going to stay over there, right? Let's just check to make sure. If we go right along this trail right here? Yeah, excellent. Then we don't even have to carry our babies across the water. So, Falcon, you saw what I did, right? You saw what I did? Falcon, you better not be doing anything crazy right now. <laughs> He's feeding Rosemary before we go. How adorable. All right, maybe we'll give Belle a little bit of food. And then we could do the same for Robin once we take him across. You know what? I'm actually going to pick up Belle first. Maybe we'll take Robin last. We'll grab Belle and we'll start running her across. Wait a second. Ooh, I almost forgot about her stamina. All right, rest up, honey. Now you should be ready to pick up Belle and run her across. We have to do this very, very quickly. I thought Honey had a little bit more stamina than that, but I guess it's still very tiring work to take these pups all the way across the water. Even though they're not swimming, they're so big now. Falcon? Oh my gosh, no. Stop running that way. Will he come back? No, don't you dare take Robin through the water right there. Oh, Falcon. He's going to end up killing our baby. Please tell me Robin is okay. Okay, he looks fine. Oh, thank goodness. Now we have to go get Rosemary, though. I thought we were going to save Robin for last. I'm actually quite surprised that he decided to save Rosemary for last of all puppies. Well, let's bring Rosemary right up to the water's edge. Put her down right here, and then we'll get ready to bring her over to the rest of the pups, too. All right, take a quick rest, honey. Sit down for a moment. Are you ready, Rosemary? Let's go. Let's go find your dad. Wait a second, where did he bring Robin? Is he on the other side already? Falcon, how on earth did you manage that? Well, I guess he already found a good path to swim. That means we should probably be following you, right? We'll grab Rosemary if you can grab Belle, and let's bring them over to the carcass over here. Oh, poor Robin. All alone on the other side. I hope he's hiding well in that grass. And is Falcon taking our other baby over there, too? It doesn't seem like I can pick from this carcass, though. Okay, there we go. I was just from the wrong side. So go ahead and fill up your belly again, honey, because you are definitely going to need it. We might as well make sure that Rosemary has a little bit of food, too. Yeah, it doesn't seem like Falcon is going to come over here and take you, so I guess it's going to be up to us. We'll go ahead and pick you up and bring you right over to the edge of the water. So I think he crossed over here somewhere, right? Is this really the right area to do it, though? It doesn't seem like there's any pebbly patches. In fact, way over there seems to be much more shallow. You know what? Let's go ahead and pick you up again, and then I'll bring you over here instead. Yeah, this seems to be the right way to do it, right? Let's just check it out after we have Honey rest a little bit, too. Make sure that she has enough energy to swim as well. I think Falcon is actually going back to grab a little bit more food for the babies, too. Yeah, this is definitely... Well, it's probably the area to go. It looks like it does have a... Falcon? Okay, he's going this way. I thought he was bringing her back across the other way. Oh, Falcon, that is quite the swim. You are one seriously strong wolf. So Falcon has single-handedly finished carrying all of our babies across the sandbar crossing. 
I guess we have some big thanks to give to you, buddy. Not sure if that was the best way to do it, but it certainly seemed to work for you. I mean, all of our babies are alive, so it's not like we can complain. Now, the one problem is we don't have any more carcasses to use out this way. So we're going to have to be very, very careful. What's in the grass? Okay, a coyote. Just a coyote. We can take care of you. Are you from the same pack? I mean, you're awfully far away, waiting all this time to ambush us on the other side of the sandbar crossing. You and your friends are pretty relentless. Oh, thank you, Falcon. Thank you for bringing Rosemary to my feet again. You want to go get the other babies, though? Oh, I heard that call. Okay, so that probably means that one of the eagles, hello, is going to come after our baby. Oh no, it's swooping right overhead. Okay, make sure all the babies are nearby. Stay close, Rosemary. Don't lag behind. Yeah, Falcon's gonna make sure that that eagle doesn't come down to take you away for sure. He is pacing right around her. Alright, so it doesn't seem like the hunt has really started yet. I guess we have to wait until it zooms in on them, right? And just to make sure, too. We're not too close to that wolf pack. Okay. Just gotta make sure. So, for now, until the hunt starts, let's keep heading toward the summer hunting grounds. The closer we can get, the better. Maybe we can even escape it entirely if we get into the shelter of the trees. Oh, we even found a little hare, too. Falcon, if you want to go catch that, that would actually be excellent. I'm a little bit too nervous to go away from the pups right now. Oh, but it's so close, I could probably get it. Oh, it zipped right away from us. Come on, honey. Lead it toward the babies and maybe they could catch it instead. Oh, I think it got away from us. We'll probably see another rabbit again, though. Yeah, it's hopping around the edge of the flower field right now. Happy as can be. Isn't that what the new episode is supposed to be about in Wolf Quest 3? Like, it's not going to be available right away. But I want to say it was about actually teaching your pups how to hunt. So that's going to be pretty fun. Once that's finally ready for us to play, I am really looking forward to it. Ooh, and I can see those wolves stalking the borders again. Okay, let's be careful. We definitely don't want to get them angry now. Falcon, are we really both feeding Robin at the same time? Really? Still, no sign of the eagle coming back from the skies, so hopefully that means he decided to move on. Maybe he was actually going after that bunny instead. <gasps> no, I spoke too soon. Let's see where he's going to land. I don't see any shadows on the ground. Okay. But I definitely saw that. He's on the attack. Yeah, where is that shadow? I would expect to see its big wings or something, but I don't see anything at all. Is it behind us, maybe? All right, pups, keep your wits about you. They're all kind of like standing up on their back legs trying to scare it off themselves. My mighty little pack of hunters. Did it decide to leave us alone? I haven't heard it call out since. But I think I hear those wolves growling. Oh, geez, we are getting way too close to their pack. All right, I think we actually want to go off toward that way. In fact, straight toward that clearing, right? Oh my gosh, Falcon, do we have to go straight through the cougar's territory? This is going to be seriously risky. Not to mention, it looks like the pups are also getting quite hungry, too. Is there any good hunting around here? Is that a fox? Okay, it's just a fox. I don't think the fox is after our babies, though, so we should be all right. It actually looked like the fox was maybe doing a little bit of hunting of its own. And if it's going to stay away from us, then we can stay away from him. Are there any carcasses out here that we could just pick from? Nope. Everything is bare out this way. Oh, thank goodness. It looks like Falcon actually had a little bit of extra food to spare. Yeah, because there is literally nothing here. So we're just going to have to kind of make a run for it. This last little bit of food is probably all that we're going to have. Unless Falcon is going back for the carcass. You know what, Falcon? That might actually be a good idea. It's a little bit nerve-wracking that you're leaving me with all the babies right now, but I think I can handle it. Oh no, not again. Oh, just leave us alone, Mr. Eagle. Alright, where is it going to land this time? I'm ready for it, Falcon. I see you have absolutely no fears whatsoever, leaving Honey alone with a falcon like this. 
Our pups are laying down, making some pretty easy prey for the bird, I must say. Come on, just swoop down. Just do it, Mr. Eagle. I am ready for you. I'm gonna chase you off before you can get to any of our babies. I still don't see it though. Where did it go? Come on, little ones. Maybe we can make it to the trees this time before the eagle even comes down. Was he just sending out a warning call, maybe? I mean, I feel like this bird is going to stalk us all the way to the summer hunting grounds at this point. He is being just as relentless as the coyote is. Should we maybe take a moment to feed Robin, though? Just really quickly. A little bit of food for all of our pups, I guess. It doesn't seem like the eagle is willing to land if we're right in the middle of our babies. All right, come on, little ones. It looks like your dad is coming back, so Falcon must have found a little bit of food for you, too. All right. I think we're getting closer. Let's see, how far away are we now? Yeah, if we can just make it to those trees, then we should be golden. So I think we can do it. Hey, stay with us, Rosemary. Stay with us, Robin. Follow Belle, okay? Belle is padding right after her mother. If Rosemary is a daddy's girl, then it seems like Belle is definitely a mama's girl. She wants to be just as brave and adventurous as her mother is. Falcon's holding up the rear. No more signs of that bird. You know, you can still actually see our big nest in the distance. The big tree where we called home. It feels like we traveled so far, but at the same time, it's still within our reach. All right, come on, you awful bird. Just swoop down so we can attack and finally send you packing. I have had enough of you screaming in the sky like this. Is Falcon waiting back there because he can sense him swooping down? Come on, little ones, just stay by my side, okay? Is Falcon going off for food again? You know, we don't actually have any food left in our bellies, so I hope he's found something. Is there anything out this way? No, definitely not, so this is going to be the end. We have to get you to the summer hunting grounds or else you're going to end up starving. Look at this though, my pups. We are so, so close to the trees. We are so close now. Don't give up, okay? I wonder if Falcon is going to give them like his last little morsels of food or something. Maybe he managed to find one of those rabbits. Let's see, he's padding back right now. Did you find any food for the babies? I really hope you have, because some of them are getting super hungry. There we go, Robin is eating. Do you have any for Rosemary or Belle? Alright, carry Robin up to my feet again, that's fine. He'll be the first one to step his toes into the tree line. Come on, Robin, you're the strongest now, so you're going to have to help lead your sisters up here. They might need a little bit of help getting through the trees. Belle is having none of it, though. She's like, don't you try to help me, I can get up here myself. Doesn't matter that she barely has any food left in her belly. She is going to conquer this journey all on her own. So we have an independent little queen in Belle, too. Robin the natural leader, Belle the independent, and Rosemary the spoiled little daddy's girl. A little bit of food for her? There we go. Belle definitely needed a refill. Alright, so... Really? Come on. Tell me this is going to be the last time. If you would just swoop down, then at least we could take care of you. Hey, Belle, don't go wandering off, okay? We're so close now, we don't need to lose you out here. Oh my gosh, it looks like a Rosemary and Robin are playing now, too. Come on, you guys, keep up. Oh, you guys, we are so close. I almost want to grab the pups and just run them over to it, but I'm afraid that we're going to leave them open to attack from the bird overhead, especially without Falcon's help. There you are, Falcon. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, he must be going hunting out here in the trees. He must just be finding, like, little bunnies to pick off or something. Because there definitely aren't any elk out here. At least as far as I can see. Actually, that little sandy pit right there? Is that where we're supposed to go? It does look awfully familiar. I think it might be. Oh my gosh, pups, we're almost there. Come on. Come on, keep going. Robin, lead your sisters on. Don't give up now. Come on, Falcon is waiting for you. Yes, the terrain is starting to change. Oh, perfect. Right into this clearing, little ones. Come on. Then we can let out a nice big family howl. Oh, there's even little twigs and logs for you guys to play with. You are absolutely going to love it here. Yes, time to howl. You've reached the rendezvous site and your family is close behind. Howl to lead them here. All right.
right, so honey's in here. Falcon, Belle, Rosemary. Let's all howl, okay? There we go. Yes, Rosemary's setting her feet inside. Robin. Come on, Belle. Really? You're getting caught on the log? Oh my gosh. We're gonna pick you up then. Bring you straight inside. Falcon, what are you doing messing around? Okay. Oh my gosh, that gave me such a scare. I was so sure one of our babies was gonna get taken away by the bird just because Falcon wouldn't step over the log. I can pick up our babies, but unfortunately, I can't grab Falcon by the scruff and haul him over any sticks in the road. But that's it, honey. You have successfully guided three of your pups over to the summer rendezvous site. So you have three babies coming with you to the next leg of your journey. It's still awfully sad that we were never really able to see Relic grow. She was taken away from us so soon by that awful cougar. And I am still a little bit concerned that we're so close to the cougar's territory right now. It makes me think that their story isn't over yet. But I suppose Honey's story is something that we could easily continue together once that new chapter of a wolf quest is added. So like I said, let me know if that's something that you guys would like to see in the future. I am definitely planning on playing Wolf Quest 3 either way, though. As I'm sure some of you know already, the plan is to start our very first adventure with Daisy. Daisy was Honey's littermate, and she was actually stolen away from her parents by an enemy wolf pack. So we're finally going to tell her full story, as she tries to learn more about her true family that she only remembers in blurs. Unfortunately, because Wolf Quest 3 is coming out so late in my time zone, I'm probably not going to be able to record for it until the weekend. So I'm going to try my hardest to get my first episode out on either Saturday or Sunday. And until then, if you guys are playing it, let me know what you think about the anniversary edition. Let me know how amazing it is to play. So I hope you guys enjoyed Honey's Hunt, and I hope you're looking forward to all of the stories that are to follow. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.